everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what we normally do. Daniel and I are gonna be vlogging the day because we have quite a busy schedule. I'm actually going out to take a photo shoot of some before pictures of a renovation for another company. You guys have seen our Living Hope Instagram. I always get questions about how I edit those photos and take them, what camera I use and stuff. And actually this time another company asked me to do the same thing um, for pictures for their social media. So I have another job doing that now, which is really exciting. Um, I'm a self-taught photographer, so it's really cool to be recognized for something like that. But anyway, so I'm headed out to Portland to do that. And so I have enough time to focus on just that. Daniel's actually coming to take the kids. And then we're, they're gonna head out, I'm gonna get ready, and then head out to Portland where I need to start taking the pictures for the shoot. Hey guys, so I just wanted to check in today. Just and I are heading in two different directions and uh, I'm loaded down with shingles there's Justine headed off in her direction I'm loaded down with shingles even my th f-350 is is groaning at the weight uh, but we got to go deliver these I'm headed out but I have some helpers today oh cool dude cool dude so we're gonna try working with daddy today while I deliver shingles. Let's see if that works. Bye Cokies, have fun with daddy, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm now all ready to go and head out. I have all my equipment here. I am bringing my studio lighting just in case um, the natural lighting in the home is not enough because I have never seen it before. I try to shoot early mornings because natural lighting is best, but again, I just don't know if the windows will let in enough light, so I always bring that just in case, and I also have my camera and equipment in here, and I have a tea because I'm running a little late and I won't have time to stop and get some pee. So I just pulled up to the house I'm gonna be doing the photo shoot at, and oh my goodness, every single home in this neighborhood is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful part of Portland. So I just got to the door and there's this sign that says, do not let the cat outside, please. And he's right there waiting to get outside. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to go in first and then grab my stuff. Okay, kitty, shoo. Go, 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 go. No, don't come out. No. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Aren't you friendly? Oh, but you're so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, you need to go somewhere so I can get my stuff in. I must be taking the after pictures because this house is gorgeous oh my goodness can this kitchen just be my own kitchen okay I need to show this to Daniel because last time I picked out a countertop I picked out this exact kitchen basically with a really light um, laminate and all the guys were like oh it's gonna look too washed out um, pick a different color that's darker gray because with white cabinets and white laminate it's not good and I wasn't there so I was like okay whatever they probably know because they're there um, this is so pretty. Daniel, this is what we're doing in the next house because it is beautiful. Like, I literally picked out these exact knobs, this exact faucet. Everything is gold. The cabinets look just like this. So they're from Ikea. And it was a faux marble countertop just like this. And can I just say that the lighting in this, it's beautiful. This whole house is beautiful. I put the cat in that room over there. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. <laughs> of my day are spent in my makeshift office 
otherwise known as a garage. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour of how it looks. I've got some some boards up there. All that red and green is my to-do list, my half-painted garage door, my very nice uh, Dallas Cowboy sign. I then I got my little desk set up here, cords for all the power, the grand schedule. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, got everything going on here. Uh, and then, meh, meh, I, I have half of a garage needing to be uh, needing to be cleaned, but getting a lot done out here, getting kind of the, the rest of this month planned out. We've got a ridiculous amount of projects going and constantly adding more. Um, it's, a, it's a lot to juggle, but this is the part that I really enjoy getting to do. Uh, even when I have uh, a crumb snatcher in here uh, distracting me and trying to draw all over my my calendar, which is currently doing. So, better get back to it. Hey, so we just popped by uh, the double wide number 105. We bought it with tons and tons of stuff in it. Uh, it's a pretty big mess right now, as you can see, but we, uh, we've we had a pretty good uh, estate sale. We sold around 450, 500 bucks worth of stuff. Uh, the car outside is probably looking like it's gonna pull maybe 1,000, 1,200 bucks. So all in all, it'll cover dumping everything. We're gonna call the veterans and let them pick through it and see what they can find. And uh, we just actually finished up, I don't know if you can be able to see this, filling my truck with a few things, uh, some of the more valuable, maybe old books. Um, we have a local bookstore that called Powell's Books, if you may have heard of them, uh, that will probably buy some of the more old, uh, classic, um, hardbound, uh, books. So we picked up some of those and some of the things that might be antiques, see if we can sell them online, leather jacket here and there. And, uh, yeah, pull as much value out of, uh, out of this stuff as we can before we have to pay to get everything dumped. So, um, all in all, it's like a... It's like a fun scavenger hunt.